Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. Just to let you know, I am not a tax accountant, real estate agent, or attorney. This video will only highlight the possibilities that you may be eligible for when making a decision about your future on your home or homes you own. This video is called Seniors, Are You Giving Away a House? Five Things to Think About. This video will highlight additional information to your questions on what other information can be helpful and added to your need to know list. Viewers, I hope you bought your notebook and pencil. One, are you giving a house as a gift? Have you thought about buying a home and giving it as a gift? There is still no good way of saying this. However, please think it through and ask your legal and tax account which is best buying the house or giving them the money. The answer may be split by however, just give them the money and let them pay all the additional closing costs on the home, just writing a check or leaving the funds in a will. Two, is this gift for the relatives? Have you thought about giving a home as a gift to one of your relatives? Think of why has this thought crossed your mind? Is it that your relative cannot survive if they continue doing what they're doing? Do you think this gift will give them a chance to start over or lower the bills which they cannot afford? Will this gift come only as a point of keeping the relative from living on the street? If the thought of this truly being a gift, please find out if they are able to transfer the utility and taxes in their name so that nothing falls on you if something goes wrong. Remember, if there is a loan on the property, that loan must be paid off before the transfer can be completed. Transferring the property over takes only a few forms and notarized size document. If you are only transferring the property to them, then you will not receive capital gains money since you did not sell the house for a profit. However, the giver of the gift usually have to pay gift taxes, and that will mean that you have to use your savings to pay the gift tax. Please check out what your state before making a decision on giving the house to your child or other relatives. Be aware that limits are set in place per state on gifts. Funds will have to be paid to complete the transaction to transfer the property as a gift if the giver goes over the lifetime limit. Just a little about me. I'm a person who enjoys food. However, I cannot mention my favorite restaurants. One of my favorite foods is cherry cheesecake. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking the thumbs up or leaving comments below. Three, irrevocable trust. Have you considered putting the property in an irrevocable trust? Let me say that an irrevocable trust is totally different from a revocable trust. An irrevocable trust cannot be changed once it is created. This means you as a grantor cannot change your mind once the paper is finalized if you are transferring property. Please talk to your lawyers and tax accounts to get a full understanding of what you're doing. These items in an irrevocable trust are no longer under your control and no changes can be made to you. The trust can be created as a legal entity, which is set up with rules, who the trustee will be that will manage whatever is contained within the irrevocable trust. The most important, are the beneficiaries that will collect the property. The transfer of property ownership will immediately change transfer of controls from you to them. The irrevocable trust is protected from the creditors which may try to come after you. The house becomes exempt from estate taxes and since the property is no longer in your name, it not, cannot be part of your estate which you pass on. Again, again, please talk to a state plan and attorney before you finalize your decision because you will all have yearly costs with the decision when you may not consider. Number four, 
selling to a relative? Have you thought about selling your home to, or child to a relative? If you thought about outright selling the property to a child or a relative, you have a few options. And one is selling the property at a below market price. Or market price will give you an opportunity to walk away with some money in your pocket with the ability to get another property at full market price or do seller financing, which means it may be years before the house is paid off and you still own the property until the loan for the property is paid off. All loan paperwork should be written and filed against the property just in case you depart this world. You have to keep asking questions through your tax accountant and legal team. If you sell your home to a child or relative at a discounted price, the IRS considers the difference a gift. For example, if you own property and it's worth $200,000 and you sold it to a child or relative for $100,000, the IRS sees the discount as a taxable gift. You at the previous owner have to pay the gift tax. Please research and check before making a decision. If you forgive the debt while you are still alive or after you cross over, it still becomes a taxable gift. However, if the child or relative defaults on the payment, no one is here to make them foreclose on them. No one says you have to record the lien against the property. However, you need to sign a note proving the own existence. If you are selling the property to a child or relative, you need to make sure the original loan is paid off before moving forward and selling the property. Mortgage loans come with a due on sale clause that requires all owners to make payments before the property can change hands, meaning the deed must be in your name before you can transfer can begin. Number five, becoming a joint owner. Have you thought about adding your child or relative to a deed as a joint owner? Let me say, if you decide to add your children or relative to the home's deed as a separate property owner, when your time is up, all the survivors will inherit their, uh, their share equally. One of the things to think about when they become a partial owner is that they now looked upon as a gift and subject to inheritance gift tax. Remember, a giver of the gift usually have to pay gift tax, and that will mean they have to use their savings to pay the gift tax. However, the person who received the gift or recipient inherits the cost of the person who passed away other than wiping the slate clean. The joint owners will have to pay capital gains tax based on the original price. Remember, with joint owners, you no longer have total control of the property. Your child or relatives can use the property however they like you will have nothing to say so with their decisions because they're equally on the property. This is definitely a lot to think about. If you added more than one person, they could vote to sell the property. The only problem they will have is if the joint owners is, if one of the joint owners is incapacitated, what makes it hard for the other joint owners to sell. It comes back so maybe it is easier to just leave the property in a will rather than worry that problems could arise at any time in the future while you are still living. Just let me know that joint owner and co-owner means both individuals have the same access to their account or property. As an individual, you most likely reserve the position for someone who has financial obligations such as a family member. Be careful who you pick. Even family members make mistakes when it comes to pain over a period of time. Please think this through, whatever decision you may make. So the main thing to think about is do you want to sell or do you want to make a gift of the property to your family members? When you decide, please move forward and complete the transaction that will make you happy. I have to say, I am not a tax accountant, real estate agent or lawyer, please check with your team before any forms are written or agreed upon. Please let me know if you like this video.
by clicking a thumbs up or leaving comments below. I have shared and I hope you share your comments and subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that may answer a few of your other questions. My name is Brenda Hayward and thanks for your time.